Hello, my name is Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumin Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. Thank you to everybody who's been watching my videos. Today I have something really exciting to talk about for uh, Twin Flames and particularly Illumin Twin Flames. It's our time. We're finally coming into the full-on energy for your re-encounters, your reunions, and your merging. And it's got to happen. You've all known that it's going to happen. Well, we're here now. Today, uh, starting this evening and into tomorrow, we have simultaneously a full moon and a total eclipse. And this is something that is fairly rare. Uh, these tend to happen in 5,000 year cycles. And this is the first of what's called four tetrads. Uh, what that is is a lunar eclipse, solar eclipse, which happens in this month, and then again in September, a lunar eclipse and a solar eclipse. And there's these are all these cosmic forces lining up and sending their energies to support you and your union. And why? Because you are these energies. You are the love. You've magnetized the love to you to support and merge your union in totality. You are merging your entire soul together. And that's bigger than any universe that we've ever explored. So what is, what is this, why is this occurring? Well, actually, the last time it occurred, this hasn't happened since 1968, which was sort of the peak of the free love era. I was a child when that happened. Some people may have been a little older and they remember, um, you know, just free love, the flower children, hippies, and so forth and so on like that. Um, people were feeling it. They were feeling the constraints removed. And a lot of people did much more exploring and commingling with soulmates. Well, I'm here to tell you that the windows closed on that. In fact, my guides told me uh, about a month ago that free love is over. It's now the time to take everything you've learned, gotten rid of all the crud, and really merge your soul back together and be the universal love that you are. Be everything that you are in sacred sexual union with your twin. So, this is the love energy. We have this from now until July. So that is the window. So you've got April, May, June, and into July to encounter your twin, re-encounter, re have a reunion, and merge together. And it's time for you to make time stand still. Now there's a lot of people that when this occurs, when these uh, lineups occur in these cosmic bodies, like the planets and the moon and the stars, there's people that trip themselves all up with conspiracy theories, and it means that I'm here to not only encourage you, but really ask you to focus on being with your twin. Focus on your twin. Hold your twin. Practice pulling down from your head, pulling up from your groin. Be in your heart. Be in your kissing chakra. You, you are reborn to each other. You are re-virginized. This is you and your purity stepping forth into your brand new time and being in no time. What does no time mean? Well, I had a really good taste of it when I went on a cruise and I didn't look at a newspaper. The only sense of time I had was my stomach or the sunrise sunset. Other than that, everything was a free free will choice of, you know, what am I going to do with my time? What am I going to play at? And in many ways, we while we do have to have one foot in time constraints, appointments or a work schedule or, or a schedule with the kids or people we take care of, such as elderly parents, there will be time where you make time stand still. Now, what does this look like? Some of you, and I know this is true, because I felt it and I've gotten reports from you that a lot of you have felt it. You've sort of felt this glitch in the energy or you have lost moments. You have moments where you kind of lost the memory of what just happened. And, and yet you know something happens and 
things are looking almost like in a film where there's a freeze frame and you're the only one walking but everything's frozen around you. Now in a film that's kind of creepy but in for twins what that's going to mean is that you'll be in your own love bubble. You'll be in that no time together. You'll have your three month honeymoon phase but you'll come back in and it'll feel like no time has passed. Now, there's not words in a human way to describe a lot of this. Uh, sometimes films are the closest context that I have to describe to people things that I experience and yet what we, a lot of you have experienced and what a lot of you will be experiencing. But it's important to keep the faith, keep the focus, keep on expecting loving your twin and expect them to be placed right in front of you because even if you know you don't know the exact timing of it uh you will you will know it could be something really banal but it'll be so exciting because it's your twin now what else guess what the spotlight is entirely on the earth we've got the uh, we're we are in complete alignment here where the sun's light is so directly spotlighting the earth. Why? Because you, you are the brand new things under the sun. Some of you are thinking, there's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing for me to do here. There's nothing that comforts. Why am I here if I'm not going to do what I came to do? You know, I might as well go. No, guess what? You are the new thing under the sun. It's you. And the sun is spotlighting you. And the moon is pulling. So what is the full moon? That's full-on emotionality. That is your heightened emotions, your heightened love. That's the volume on way up to the top level. Full overlighting. Full underlying support. It is your spring celebration. It is you being a wild nature spirit. It is your fer fertility. Now, what do you, what is your part in this? Your part in this is love. You are the lovers. Your part is to focus on your twin and them coming to you. Not your family, not all the other stuff around you. A lot of you will have family celebrations coming up. There's a lot of people from the Mandolin Joshua soul group and other soul groups who are from uh, certain traditions. And we have our spring celebrations of whatever they are. Focus on the sweetness. Focus on the kids. Here, focus on the sweetness. Get yourself some chocolate bunnies. Get yourself some other sweet things. Enjoy the sweetness. Don't worry about the over-commercialization of it. Be the free spirit. Go make love in a field. Get some flowers. Really get into the spirit of what this is. Because this is here for you. This is here actually to... The door was open in March. And it's going to be open until July. Make the most of it. What does that mean also? That means be truthful with yourself. Tell yourself, I'm a twin flame. I'm here to do this. The universe has shown you they've either presented that person in the physical, in your dream time, in your visions. You've had remembrances of that person. Recognize your own self-identity. Who are you? Well, first of all, you're from source. You're the love. You're the lovers. You're here to be the lovers. You're not here to reinvent the wheel. You're not here to be a rocket scientist. Even if you've gotten stuck on old stuff, being a shaman or something like that, being a shaman isn't all that glamorous. A lot of us got tripped up using some of those psychotropic substances to try and continue expanding and connecting to the universe. Not the way we connect anymore. We connect from within and from meeting our twin in the physical and merging with them. You are intended to merge. It is the only way to get the last part of your soul entirely fused together. And I do mean fused together. That is how we make more love and we spread the love. Through your sacred sexual energy of who you are. You are a sacred sexual being. What else about your self-identity? Well, recognize things about yourself. Who's the masculine? 
Who's the feminine? Who is the electric? And I'll tell you something, electric doesn't always mean masculine. Nope, it doesn't. Magnetic does not always mean feminine. How many of you are different combinations of this? Or what some of me and my friends have just, we've just kind of came up with a term that we call blendy. You know, this person's blendy. We don't have to label them or define them. They're different combinations of angelic wonderfulness. You're all the, multi, all the facets of your sparkling personality in one. You've fully integrated yourself. And now you're getting ready to meet the rest of yourself and come back together. The majority of the twins on the planet have not um, had a re-encounter with their twin in a long time. There are people that have come together and merged. A lot of them, it's, it's been so intense that they don't come back on the internet and report it very much. So, you know, we have sort of this bell-shaped curve of the majority of the people in the middle. And if you want some metrics, quite honestly, twin flames are about 20% of the Earth's population with only about maybe 5% that have actually uh, agreed to come together. And, and yet, we, our love is so powerful we don't need a lot. A lot of other people can follow. But I am going to say once again that for those of you who have been waiting 11,000 years, it's your time. And it's time now. So have the faith. You have in, immense unseen support of your guides and angels. And that's another thing. You may feel some differences in your guidance. Sometimes your guides are sort of moving to the side in, a, in more of an escort formation. They're there to see to it that you continue along the path, but they're not supposed to do every little thing for you. And please understand that your guides are your friends. And understand if, if you're supposed to shift or put endeavors on the back burner in favor of your twin union. This has to be your priority. Being the love is your priority because that's who you are. Who can best be who you are together? Who can best be the love? It's you. And even I can't do that for you. Your guides can't do it for you. You have to do it for you. That's the only way to finish your healing. So a lot of you have done amazing jobs of going along here. Do not neglect your medical care. Do not neglect anything that you may feel that you still need to do prior to your union, and please understand that your full and final curing, healing, will come together with your twin. You're purified, you're reconnected, you are brand new, you are reborn, restored, you have everything you need on the inside. Don't be afraid of things that, you know, old belief systems might tell you, like, Good girls do this, or nice girls don't do that, or bad boys only do this, and, you know, nice guys don't do that, or she'll only think of me as a brother, or, you know, he just thinks I'm this. There are certain dynamics uh, coming up within uh, parts of the soul group that are intended to collapse a lot of these belief systems, and some of them have to do with um, your inner feelings of, you know, am I... Am I gay? Am I straight? Am I transgender? I'm an older woman. I'm a younger man. Um, I don't fit in with this religion. Don't worry about any of those beliefs. The majority of those walls have been collapsed. Now all you have is a little hurdle to run over. So again, do not be afraid of these energies. You, will, you may have some triangulated situations. You may have yourself here or your twin. You can clearly see what's going on, but, you know, the mom is in the way. Or there's a false twin there blocking someone who has you or your twin in their thrall. Remember that this is, these are energies to support you. It's fine to cut the cords. That's something that you can do in your metaphysical, and then you do the actions in the physical. You have to stop all contact sometimes with people in order for that, what you've set into motion to completely fritter away. It can be mothers-in-law. It can be the parents of children. 
it is usually not the children themselves because the children are usually spiritually aware of the twin union and are supportive of it and are actually waiting for it to occur, just like a lot of other people. We are waiting for you to merge and bring the new here. Bring everything new under the sun. It's you. You're the new. And this is all here not to make you uncomfortable. So the pain should stop. And by the way, I have a lot of people reporting and myself, people in my family. And you're going to see this too. You're going to see people mention things and they'll say, oh, I've got such a pain in my stomach. It's been going on for a week. That's normal. That's actually an adjustment of the high heart pulling the intestines up. And you will have discomfort sometimes no matter what you're eating. It's not going to last. All of the pains are, it's real, but it's transient. It will be leaving you. And this will pass because from now until July, that's your time. That has to be the time for the people who have chosen that they're not afraid to leave their body. They do want to merge. They do want to get out of this chaos and bring back exactly the love that's needed. Be fearless about that. Know it. Set some things into motion, like I say. And when the opportunity presents itself, really feel it. Remember to pull down from your head. Because there's going to be stuff happening. You can't have this level of energy without some people losing their mind. Keep your balance. Be moderate. Be sweet. Be kind to each other. Be the love, mostly to yourself and your twin. You have to be yourself before you can do anything for anybody else on this planet or anywhere else. So thank you so much for listening. Um, there will be more to come. I wish everyone to meet your twin if you haven't, re-encounter your twin if you have, and enjoy your honeymoon phase. Okay, thank you so much. Bye now.